My name is William Thomas Stewart. I'm the news director at KNTU. I'm in charge of the late edition show, which is our new show here. I'm also in charge of all traffic reports and anything news related that happens throughout the day. Gotcha. We are a local show, so I try to keep it mostly local, but there's not always enough content to keep it local. So uh, I also have international stories, just general Texan stories, and general national stories. I try to think of the demographic that we're reaching out to, and so I try to match it up to that. Uh, I also take several sources that say what people across the country are saying the most interesting news of the day, and I take that into account as well. My show is a legitimate broadcast. Our station does go over throughout the, all of DFW, 88.1 FM, KNTU.com. Uh, sorry, I have to do the plug there. Um, we are a legitimate news team. What I tell my people is the only difference between us and the people at the AP are that I tend to care more about what they write and we get paid a lot less. Our, our news show is very informative. We I do have a set schedule for my anchors, um, although I'm on that schedule because I like anchoring a lot. It's a lot of fun. But I am typically more behind the scenes now that I'm news director here. It's the only news show at 5.30 on 88.1 FM, KNTU.com, so listen in. I'm Kevin Turner, a member of a show on KNTU called the North Texas Sports Machine. Uh, it's me and uh, my friend Mike Marshall, and our board op is Bobby Mallory. And uh, that comes on every Sunday at 5.30. It's a speedy, I mean, the pace is very up-tempo. We cover... Rangers, Cowboys, Stars, Mavericks, North Texas sports, and if there's any national stories like, you know, Tiger Woods having affairs or Brett, Par Brett Favre uh, snapping pictures of himself, then, uh, you know, we talk about that too. Yeah. Now, usually the first segment consists of a lot of, you know, a, a lot of stage fright, a lot of stage fright, like, you know, radio, I've been known to lose my voice or to be panicking on air, um, maybe take some slices at the wrist. It's just how I, how much I value my life, which is not much at all. You know, we put a lot of strong research and effort into it. The, the whole point of this show is not to be straight sports because you, you, you can burn that element out. You know, it can get old very quickly. Uh, the North Texas Sports Machine can be heard every Sunday at 5.30 on KNTU.com or FM 88.1 The One, featuring myself, Kevin Turner, and Mike Marshall. My name's Or Moyal. I host and produce uh, McKinney and Focus here on KNTU. I'm the public affairs director at the station. McKinney and Focus is sort of a community-oriented show. Um, I try to cover whatever is pertinent, whatever is relevant, and mostly McKinney, but also all across Collin County and, you know, for the events right across, you know, the whole area. And, you know, a lot of people think that you sort of get a sort of myopic, uh, small viewpoint when you're only examining such a small portion, and McKinney's not really a high-exposure, exciting place to most people. Um, but the fact is, if you look hard enough, there's always going to be an interesting stories, depending on the angle you're willing to take. And for certain stories, I'm more than willing to delve across the barriers that McKinney presents and go somewhere else, wherever the, the, the real content is. McKinney in Focus is the community-oriented program aimed at McKinney, aimed at Collin County, aimed at DFW. If you want to get a perspective on what's going on within this particular area, it's a really good program to listen to. You get 30 minutes and we try to wrap up whatever's coming up, whatever's happened over the past week and over the coming week. And it's a good program to listen to, 6.30 on Tuesdays, tune in. Well, I'm Holly Gross. I'm the special program producer and uh, I host In Frequent Exposure. In Frequent Exposure is a two hour block on Saturday nights for local bands. And that's anybody in the North Texas region, DFW, Arlington, Garland, Amarillo, uh, just basically North Texas, and um, it's essentially just a venue for bands that don't necessarily have a lot of press to get exposure infrequently. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just for uh, several bands in Denton and the like to showcase their talent. There are several different local shows, especially um, within the last several years, because Denton's music scene, especially has really expanded, so has Dallas's. But there is The Local Edge with Mark Shetman, who actually got his start at KNTU, fun fact. And that's on um, The Edge, 102.1. Then 91.7 KXT plays some local musicians. And there's several others like that. But um, it's certainly the first one in Denton. 
not necessarily the first one ever. There have been attempts at came to you before, but it's the first one to have stuck around. And um, it's been going pretty well. It's successful, and I think that's mainly because my show, in contrast with the other ones, actually caters to a more Denton audience, whereas the other ones really focus more on Dallas and other bigger cities in the Metroplex. There's not only just music on the program. We try to be funny. We try to do silly things. This last episode was actually my fifth, or fifth, wow, 50th episode, and so we try to do some goofy bits for that. There was a whole melodrama where I forgot that I was supposed to be on the air, and I'm trying to get to the studio, and people in the studio are trying to take over, which uh, went over pretty well, but yeah, it's really silly, and we try to involve the community as well. I get some of the artists in to record little sweepers, which is basically, hey, this is, you know, blah, 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 you're listening to Infrequent Exposure, and sometimes they want to do goofy stuff too, so it really is just trying to be a colloquial environment where you can be silly, but it also serves a purpose, and it's just fun, low stress that way. I guess the most fun I have is really discovering new music. When I find a new track and I know it's just gonna, like, it's just the best. Because a lot of this music is, I mean, personally better than Top 40. It's, it's up to par with all the music that I listen to from across the nation, just from the big bands that I like. And so when I find a good CD and I'm the first person that has it and I get to share it with some people, it's great. And I get to listen to it all the time, <laughs> which is also cool. But at the same time, I really like, I mean, I'm an RTVF major, and I really like being able to get creative with using sound effects and, you know, different things to make a story, to make a bit, and hopefully to make some people laugh. But I guess Tops is finding great music. That's pretty awesome. You should really listen to Infrequent Exposure because it has the most dent music that you can find on any radio show. It's hilarious, and uh, I'm pretty cool. But... Um, Definitely listen Saturday nights, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And submit your music. I mean, if you have a band, send an email and you could be on the radio. It's fun. It's funsies. <laughs> My name is Robert James Mallory. Um, uh, people call me Bobby for reasons I don't know. I am on The Green Guys. That's a, it's a good show that comes on before North Texas football. The Green Guys is really, it's called The Green Guys, but you know, it really should be called Bobby, the best sportscaster around, and a couple of wankers. That's what it should be called. The Green Guys get really deep. They get really, <laughs> they, get about, they get about elbow deep, I would say, in North Texas football. Um, we, really, we really dive into stats. We all pick a player, and we give a bio. You know, so it's it's good information. It's good football information. Our show is very good at giving you what you need to know. We don't give you a lot of over-the-top stats. We just give you what you need to know, players you need to watch, and who's going to win the game by our wonderful predictions at the end. That's what we give you. Green Guys, Green Guys is an amazing sports program that talks about North Texas football. Uh, Mike, Mr. Mike Marshall, Mr. Kevin Turner, a guy named Dick Starver. I mean, a guy named Nick Carver. Um, he's on it, and then of course me, Bobby Mallory, I am on the Green Guys, and uh, we throw down information about North Texas football, but we also do some crazy bits, and it's a lot of fun and very informative. And it comes on an hour and a half before game time. We also have lots of porn stars in the studio, which is just for fun. It's just for some, uh, we just want to have lots of bukkake going on. <laughs> what the f- Wow. Wow, you pulled that one out. If you listen to our show, you have no idea what's going on that weekend. Because we don't bring much of a show every week. <laughs> if you- <laughs> That's not helpful at all. That's not helpful at all. There's it just a, a large chance of- Climax. You to name all the women you've had sex with and their ages at the time. Jesus Christ. And their favorite positions. Let's see. This is gonna. It's gonna take a while. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, any confessions? I I fake my prayers at night. I've um, I never learned how to ride a ride a bicycle. Cool.
would state your name and uh, what what show you're promoting. I'm Kevin Turner. I a member. Looking at you. Looking at you. Ben. I'm Kevin Turner. I'm a member of a, a show on KNTU called uh, 80. Uh, eight, oh, holy shit! Hold on. What would you say to Jesus if you could talk uh, to him right now? Thank you, and I'm sorry, because think, and there's two things. I think up. I think thank you. you. Think Jesus would be make a good three or a good two on the basketball <laughs> team. Um, I, I I think probably the three. That's the okay. guy you're gonna run your offense That's around, yeah.